And welcome to Kenzo de Novo. We're here for highlights of the big match between the Jamaica Scorpions and the Leeward Island Hurricanes as the Super 50 Cup continues in Group B. Hello everyone, I'm Barry Wilkinson. It was a rainy day, but I'll tell you that the Jamaicans made hay while the sun shone. The only thing they lost really was the toss. And after the Leeward Islands captain decided to send them in, uh, I tell you, they really made a very big total. However, there were some changes. Leverage came in for Merchant for the Jamaicans and Sheldon Cottrell, because of an injury, had to step out and stepping up for him was Shino Berridge. So then, Jamaica are batting first. Let's head to the middle and see what kind of total they will set. He's just about to start with the first ball. Cornwall. Hey, it's about ball bringing the batsman on the front foot. Okay, Jim, it's a It'll be really interesting to see how Charlie Walls and approaches this innings. As an opening batsman, you've become used to facing a new ball off a fast bowler. Today he has a different proposition. There's a big shot. Over mid-wicket for six. Good connection there from Chadwick Walton. And I was just saying that I would like to see his approach to this innings starts off positively. That's what we were talking about earlier, Tino. You know, the approach inside the first ten overs. Wonderful execution from Chadwick Walton. Two straight, being treated disdainfully. He's bowling his off spinner from the shorter side. So very interesting. Come in, Jamie. Come in, Jamie. Yeah. Lando, Lando, Lando. Easy Lando, work. Lando. Should come back for two easy runs. Good running from Walton. But he's bowling the off spinner. One would think that he would have bowled the off spinner from the Joe Garner end when you have the bigger side. But he's obviously bowled from the Marco Marshall end. And anytime. Cornwall is straight, he's going to go the maximum. Yeah, Chadwick Walton has demonstrated the willingness to take on that fielder. And it's a big shout, big court at the wicket, and he's given him court bad bad. What a recovery here after being hit for six from the big man. Good wicket early up. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. I was a bit critical at first. All he has to do is get it outside the old stump. Well, Chadwick Walton, what are you doing? But good captaincy by Devon Thomas. Wonderful captaincy and a good catch by Sanders as well. That is good cricket. Good cricket from the Hurricanes. Oh, there, oh there. Chadwick Walton back in the hut in the first over. He departs for eight. Here's Cornwall. Good positive stroke there from Campbell. Well, pick up two. He has been the leading run scorer for this Jamaica Scorpions team. At the top of the innings, a lot will require a lot will be required off him. And look at this. Shot here from Chadwick Walton, confident, taking on the long, the field at deep mid-wicket. But Cornwall, again, nice flight to delivery on and about the middle stump. Getting the reward. Again, another innovative stroke here from Campbell. I like what he's trying to do. He's trying to maneuver the field. He's trying to manipulate the field, John Campbell. Yes, indeed. He's a good talent, this young man. Good batsman. The funny thing about those two deliveries, we we'll get back to that after this delivery. And it's a top edge. Oh! He's gotten away with it. Could he go for four? Yes, it does. So a streaky boundary from Campbell. Oh, that could easily gone full in the air. Yeah, I like the I like the positivity. 
Sometimes you create your own luck. I like what I'm seeing here from John Campbell. Prepared to go against the spin, prepared to play the fancy shots. And this is the result. Got four runs. He's already gotten a couple of twos. That's a cracking shot. Stand and deliver. Oh, two full and wide. And Jermaine Blackwood saying thank you very much. Yeah, as we see Blackwood pouncing on that delivery. Through the line of the ball, into the gap. Confident stroke there from Blackwood. Good shot. Good confident sweep again. This time way in front of midwicket. Will pick up another boundary. John Campbell is prepared to take on the off spinner. Prepared to play the sweep shot. Really like this approach. Yes, sweeping on length and line. There we see a big shot over the top on the up. Will go all the way to the boundary. Soon as he brought in that fielder into the slip position, Blackwood made contact and he made good contact. Yes, indeed. He's just firing. Anything that is close, he's just going to throw the kitchen sink at it. Good shot. Good punch off the back foot. Going down the hill and will beat the fielder. Nice confident stroke there from Jermaine Blackwood. Getting quickly onto the back foot. Punching it in front of point for four. Shot of the afternoon so far. That is a wonderful cricket shot from Jermaine Blackwood. Everything was perfect about that. Look at that. Punched away again. Same direction. Same result from Jermaine Blackwood. Good batting here from the Jamaica Scorpions. Putting the pressure back on to the Leeward Islands Hurricanes. Good batting. Just coming. That's a wonderful shot yet again. He has those shots. Nice swipe. Good shot, Paul. Good thinking. Nearly stuffed him. Good lively delivery as well from Louis. At one stage, from our vantage point, I thought it went to hand, thought it went to square leg, but that's a good short ball. It seemed to have caught him by surprise. I think he was more expecting fuller delivery. Just hustle into that shot. Fortunately for him, did not go to hand. Brilliant. A slow ball. It was wide and dealt with severely from Blackwood as well. That brings up the Scorpions 50 also. That is a tremendous blow. Brings the, the over to end. After eight, the Scorpions 50 for one. How's the pitch played to you so far, Jeffrey? It looks pretty good, Barry. It just hasn't really played too differently throughout this tournament. I think, don't think any of the pitches have been have been bad pitches. It's just a matter of how people have chosen to bat on them. This one probably doesn't have as much in it for the seamers. Had a little bit of moisture in it to start with this morning. But uh, not much grass, if any, really. And it's turned out to be pretty e even paced. No great amount of pace, but there is some bounce and turn, as we've seen, for the spinners. And that's something that can be utilized, I think, later on. Or rather, will be utilized throughout this game by the, the, the slower bowlers. But for the seamers, no real sideways movement, and we haven't really seen any swing as such. When last these teams met would have been at the 3Ws Oval last week.
Jamaica actually scored 83 without loss. They were 83 without loss in the, at the power play after the first 10. They're not near that now, but they certainly had to recover after that first wicket. That's a big hit. That's going to go for four. It was pitched up, and John Campbell saw the opportunity early and went through with the shot. And he's got four. It's up the 50 partnership, and just an idea, an, an example of how good this pitch is. You can hit through the line. That delivery wasn't particularly pitched up. And Campbell just went straight, straight through the line through it. So good conditions for batting. Pull that, he's got it in the gap, that's going to go for four. Blackwood on the go and who better batsman to watch when he's on the go. This pitch is way too slow to be bowling that short. That's gone fine. That could go to the boundary. Good effort, but I think they might want to have another look at that. They run three in the interim. Orlando Peters, spectacular effort. He saved the single. That's a big shot, gone for four, almost went all the way, but just bounced one hop over the ropes. John Campbell now showing he's got some prowess as well. Much more sensible area to be trying to hit the ball than trying to reverse sweep or do some foolishness. Four more, good batting from the Jamaicans. Partnership is building, 15 overs gone, and they're 88 for one. The 2018-2019 Super 50 Cup is brought to you by Cricket West Indies. Another day of action in the Super 50 Cricket Cup. Oh, that's punched over the top brilliantly. Oh, that was sweet timing. Windward Islands return to defend their title. That dominating shot. Against the top clubs from the Caribbean, Canada, That's and the a USA. Fantastic shot. October 4th through the 28th. Live on ESPN and ESPN Play. For everything cricket, go to ESPNCrickInfo.com. Oh! Oh, ball. Oh, ball. Too close for comfort, Campbell. But good bowling from Terence Ward. Nice and tight into that off stump. We didn't spin too much. Ooh. Cheeky and innovative. Beautiful reverse sweep by John Campbell. That's a wonderful cricket shot. Brings the 17th over to an end. 98 for one. Certainly was a good shot. And that's a man. That is in form, John Campbell. Couple of half centuries already in this tournament. Look at the concentration. Beautifully played. He starts and he starts with a boundary. Not what you want from your leg spinner. Right after break, a good, good sweep shot. Move on the edge from Campbell and a good 50 as well. Well played, young man. And a hundred partnership as well. Good on the edge. And this is John Campbell's 50, the way he got to it. Some lofty blows over the top with conviction. Knew exactly what he wanted to do. Good hitting. Some delicate shots as well. Some innovation. That's the way he got to his 50. Very well played so far. 
by John Campbell, and I'm quite sure he wanted to carry on. Yes, indeed. He has to carry on. And there's an opportunity. Oh, no chance. Down there at wide. Long on, one bounce into the boundary. That's a good, good shot by Campbell. It certainly was. He knew exactly what we, we, we wanted to play that shot. Van bounce into the fence. Ball in front. No chance. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh, it was a brilliant effort from Jeremiah Louis down there. But pulled off the front foot just to show you there's no pace from Peters. And Campbell heading four runs. Yeah, short delivery. No pace at all. And the kind of form that John Campbell is in. Very, very, very good effort by Jeremiah Louis. Unfortunately, couldn't stop it from going to the boundary. And he's flashing again, Blackwood. Down to deep point. One run. Well, that's Blackwood's 50 as well. Brutal innings. After 20 overs, 123 for one. As Jacobs continues. But his 50 have been brutal. He's played some serious shots. He's, even though bowlers are bowling good lines, he's still trying to hit you the line. He's done that successfully today. But these two have been having a very good time of late against the, the Hurricanes. Last time these two came together, they put on 72 for the second wicket. No! And so far, they've put on 116. So they complement each other very well. The combination as well, lefty and righty. Very tight, it's very hard for a bowler to really concentrate and adjust his lines every time. What you have to do as is... and it's an opportunity, it's an opportunity and taken. Good catch by Casey Carty, he's just gave it away. So currently, disappointing. Extremely disappointing. Batting so well. Scoring quite freely and easily. No, look at this. Try to go over the top. Only splice it to a deepish mid-off. Easy catch by Casey Carty. And John Campbell. Batting so well. Gave it away in the end. Oh, disappointment for John Campbell, but well played nevertheless. 61. The Scorpions, 124 for two. Well, that will beat the short third man. And uh, McCarthy picks up a boundary. Full and wide from Carty. And just able to slice it away between that backward point and that short third man. Swept away for four. Good shot, bad delivery, dispatched. He's trying to get in really close to those stumps, Jacobs. Let's see where he's delivering from and just push that one down leg. cut away and come on, come on. Well, not so sure if that was saved I have to have another look at that yeah I think uh, I think he may have just touched the roof at the same time he had the ball in his hands let's have a look
Big shot over the top. Straight over long off for six. Good shot there from Jermaine Blackwood. A little shimmy down the pitch. Through the line of the delivery. Six more to the Scorpions. Nice shimmy down the pitch. Hands through the ball with the turn over the long off fielder. Rose back. Superb shot there from Blackwood. In the air, just dropping short. That should have been taken, I thought. Chesney Hughes, I thought, should have done a, a much better effort with that, Tino. Yes, indeed. But way in front, I think I would wouldn't be too harsh on him. But looking for, as we project, 274. I think that would be a good score. I think anything above 220, from what I've seen from the leeward so far, Tino, anything above 220, I think will present a bit of a challenge to the leeward. And I, I think they'll definitely get past that this evening because at 172, you still got 19 overs left. I would risk to bet that tonight you might see, perhaps. I wouldn't be surprised if Cornwall comes three. Well, he has the ball in his hand. He has a job to do right now, and that's to get a wicket. What I would like to see from these two is Blackwell going on and scoring 100. McCarthy getting runs as well. And just continue to build that reputation. Well, the scores at Kensington have not been high this season. 227 is the highest score here this season. The highest score at Cafil at the three Ws is 221. That's just another single. And would you believe it, Tino, the top six highest scores have all been in Trinidad. 337, the Volcanoes against Canada. 318, the Red Force against Windies B. 302, the Windies B against Canada. 292, Canada versus Windies B. 291, Jaguars versus Red Force. Um, 264, Canada versus Volcanoes. And I'll tell you an interesting stat about that. Five of those six scores have all been at the Brand Lara Academy, Taruba, which means that that pitch down there seems to be a, a nice flat batting wicket. Well, Barry, I've never had the opportunity to, to go there or to play there. When they had the big opening, um, Brian called me and he said he wanted me to play in the game, but I was in England. Play for Hampshire. Ah! And there's an opportunity. And there's a quick single. Opportunity for a run out. Go on. Could it be tight? They have to go upstairs. And they do. Good. Good fielding. By Sanders. Yeah, very smart too by Raheem Cornwall. Let's see if he made it. I think, I think he might have just made it. Because I'm thinking he grounded his bat. Throw comes in. Yeah. We have to see the next angle because I'm not sure if it was his ball that hit, if the ball hit the stumps or if it was his foot. But either way, I think that he's still safe because when the stumps seemed to be broken, I think he was past the crease. It should be a better angle. No, I think he missed. I think he missed everything. It looks to me like it was his hands that broke the stump, so that that should become null and void. Yeah, right, Barry. I think that is not out. Unfortunate. If he gathered it cleanly, it would have been a run out or even tighter. But the ball has gone through his hands, as you can see. Then he breaks the stumps. So the third umpire shouldn't have a problem whatsoever with that. The TV umpire, which is Ryan Willoughby. 
No, sorry. That's a rat. Should be not out. Yes, indeed. Oh, he's got that pass. Pretty poor feeling on this occasion. Four runs. And Chesney Hughes definitely should have stopped that, Tino you know Best. Yes, very average feeling by Chesney Hughes. You've got to stop that. You're at the, the Mecca as well. The laundry is paid for. And that's the 50 partnership as well. He's got that through as well. That's going to challenge the boundary and gets there. Yes, it does. Four more runs. Blackwood finds another gap. Wonderful use of the feet and good execution. Extra cover drive. Terence Roar diving in despair. And that's Crunch. On pan the wall of the scoreboard and rebounds. That was struck ferociously from Blackwood. Two hundred comes up for Jamaica and Blackwood inches closer to that century. Oh, he squeezed that pass into the boundary for four. Andre McCarthy now also open up his arms. Good placement by Andre McCarthy. Dissecting the point and the backward point as well. He's lifted that easily over cover and into the hands of a deep extra cover. Another scorpion wicket falling for absolutely no reason when they're under no pressure whatsoever. Just look at this, Ambi. That was uncalled for, Dooge. Unnecessary. Chipped it to a whitish long off and easy catch in the end by Orlando Peters. And Andre McCarthy has to go for 42. It's 216 for three. Go to long on. Just a single and a hundred for Jeremy and Blackwood. Certainly has been a good knock by him. He played sensibly. Some aggressive strokes with some good, natural, easy-going shots as well. Well applauded by his teammates, and rightly so. And that's his second hundred in this regional competition, douche, to go along with 450s. Very well played to him. But he needs to push on to the end. You got to be looking at somewhere in the region of high 200s or 300 and he's the way they'll get it another promising player brandon king who hasn't quite delivered to date Got a 60 for the Patriots here in the CPL this year. That went to hand. Rakeem Cornwall didn't seem to be expecting that. That certainly was a very, very lazy looking effort on the part of Rakeem Cornwall. That ball was catchable. Here's the wicket of McCarthy. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Misdirected. Not sure if they got was any bat on that, but it'll certainly go to the boundary, and it, it will be given as four wides. Catch! 
Figured he'd be going to try something like that. It's straight into the hands of the man at straight mid-wicket. And 100 from for Jermaine Blackwood. But comes to an end in very tame fashion. Another wicket for Rakeem Cornwall. And quite disappointing in the end for Blackwood. Catch out Jeremiah Louis. Just tossed up and didn't quite get hold of that and holds out at straightish midwicket. So a good hundred from Jermaine Blackwood. That's hit high and hard over cover. Don't worry about getting caught there. Good shot from Brandon King. Certainly was a good shot. Nice juicy half volley also off stump. Over extra cover, which is always not the easiest of shots to play. It's gone for maximum. Look at that. Powerfully struck. That's hit high as well. And no, nobody is gonna catch that either. This is a Chesney Hughes. The recipient of those two massive blows from Brandon King. One over extra cover and the other one straight down the ground. And that ball directed on leg stump and put away by Bonner. Another, another example of the amount of time he has, Ambi. Most certainly. It was a poor delivery, really. Short and on leg stump ably put away by Nkuma Bono. That's gone straight down the ground. Another good blow by Brandon King. Brings up the 250 for the Scorpions in the 44th over. There we go. We just talk about it, dudes. I'm sorry. I'm not a fan. There you go. Just an outside edge and it's four. Down the third man. Not a good idea. Boy, sometimes it makes you it makes you look like a psychic. <laughs> <laughs> what a shot. That's gone all the way. That's a big six and a good shot too. That brings up the 50 partnership and it comes back to predictability. Brandon King seeing the field, he knew that he was going to be bowling outside off stump. So he just walked across to the offside, opened up the leg side. Good shot over that deep backward square. That will take some recovering. That's gone straight. And just through the hands. That's gone for six. Should that have been taken? Yeah, I think that should have been taken, young Kisikati. Ball hit powerfully. Just bursting through the hands there and going for six. So add insult to injury there. 16 runs in that last over. Yeah. One pulled away and straight to the big man, Rakim Cornwall at short fan leg. Making what was a simple catch look very difficult did Rakim Cornwall but that's the end of Nkuma Bonner well played 17 of 17 deliveries he had to he had to dive forward you would say Barry he didn't have to but he did <laughs> <laughs> because that lobbed really but uh, in the end he just uh, it might have fallen on that as well I'm a bit worried about his finger you know he got this injury early when he was trying to take a catch but now it's Bonner gone for 17. Bowl him. Very good delivery there from Jeremiah Louis. Didn't give him much room. And the leg step knocked back. Louis has something to shout about. 
Excellent execution of a Yorker here from Jeremiah Louis. This is where you want to be bowling at the back end of the inning. Nice and full, wicket to wicket. You miss, I hit. And a nice celebration as well from Jeremiah Louis. Brandon King looking to get under that delivery to hit it through the leg side. Missing, leg stump being rocked back. Brandon King has to depart for a well played 44 from 23 deliveries. Jamaica Scorpions 285 for 6. Another day of action in the Super 50 Cricket Cup. Oh, that's punched over the top brilliantly. Oh, that was sweet time. Windward Islands return to defend their title. That's the winning shot. It takes the title. Against the top clubs from the Caribbean, Canada, that's and the USA. Fantastic shot. October 4th through the 28th. Live on ESPN and ESPN Play. For everything cricket, go to ESPNCrickInfo.com. The 2018-2019 Super 50 Cup has been brought to you by Cricket West Indies. Pretty powerful hit, but it should go straight to the fielder. And here's a clear plan, Orlando Peters, and that plan is to bowl full and outside off stump. He's got six men on the offside. He's got a short square leg, a guy way in front, cow corner and a long one. So essentially, he wants these guys to score through to the sweeper, to the long off, or to the guy on the extra cover boundary. Has that carried? Nope, it's gonna fall short. I've just been told that this is Jamaica's highest total in the Super 50 cricket at Kensington Oval. Came in at a very good time. Beating 255 in the 2016-2017 season, which of course would have been early last January, I believe. That was against the Guyanese. Jack Horse. That's in the air, but just falls short. It's not the sun in his eyes, maybe the, <laughs> maybe the lights, but I think it should have been a better effort out there. On the boundary, that ball was in the air for quite a while. Sort of hesitated initially. Saunders wasn't able to hang on. But certainly, the batsmen are hitting the ball in the areas that Orlando Peters wants them to hit it. I think that maybe, like we saw Brandon King do a bit earlier, Someone can step across to the offside and try to open up that leg side. Barry, I think it's about time that we broach that 300 mark. We've seen it so many times in the Trinidad leg. It's about time Barbados gets, gets in the act. Yeah, you know, you're correct. I mean, I've been disappointed with the scores that we've seen in the Barbados leg of this tournament. We mentioned a lot of them earlier and they've just been there are thereabouts. I think the highest score is 227, which is not good enough. 50 over tournament. That's a, that's a T20 score these days. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly when I'm bowling. <laughs> oh no, I should say when you're, when you're not bowling. <laughs> and the pitch, the pitches have been really good here at the Kensington Oval. This is a pitch that we've used before. So if anything, it will become a little bit slower. So the pitches have been good. I just think that the quality of batting really hasn't been up to standard. I'm really happy to see that the Scorpions are putting together a really good innings here. I want to see them get past that 300 though. Seven balls to get that nine runs. Just seven runs in the last two overs. So since the dismissal of Bonner and King, they've just faltered a little bit. That was a drop chance it looked like to me and I think they should get two. Yeah, I really think that the bowler should have continued going for that, that ball there. Just knocked it down and stopped. At the end of 49 overs, Scorpions 293 for six. I think they would be looking to get definitely to that 300 mark as, as we see another ball being struck back ferociously. I think it was a good bit of feeling there. I wouldn't call that a chance at all.
So Louis to ball the, the last over. Again, just reinforcing my point about Louis and his effectiveness in the back end of the inning. Really disappointing for me and for the Leeward Islands Hurricanes that he's only managed to bowl seven overs in this entire innings. Standout bowler for me. Happened in the last game as well, which I find very surprising. He's by far the best bowler in this team. And I, I think he's not been managed very well. You don't have Sheldon Cottrell playing today either. Dot ball is like gold dust at this stage of the match. Good slower bouncer there, good delivery, especially to a lower order batsman as Joel Wilson signals one over the shoulder. But good returns here, 29 runs into his seventh over, picking up the two wickets as well. Joe Wilson, the Cricket West Indies and Weeper umpire of the year. I thought he smashed that, but I think it smashed him. This time, proper bouncer. We saw the slow ball bouncer delivery before. This time, it had some pace on it. Deval Green not able to deal with that. Three deliveries remaining. Just nine runs in the last 15 deliveries. So good comeback here from the Hurricanes. Gonna push for two here, and they should. In the end, gets it comfortably. Oh, that's gone high. Has it gone far enough? It's going to fall safe. And they're going to get two as well. Make that three. Should have been one, ended up being three. Score is 299, Barry. I think this next delivery is either going to be a dot ball or a wicket. <laughs> We should have done a little better with that. 83 runs from the last 10 overs, which is at eight runs per over with one ball left. Once it's a legal delivery, they can, can't get 90. So they could possibly score 89 off of the last 10, which is really what you need in 50 over cricket. 299 for six. Either way, we're going to have to see 300 runs scored if this team batting second is going to win. Samuel Badri has won the bid. <laughs> well done, Sammy. I owe you a drink. I think my prize should be a car. So then, the Leewards won the toss and they chose to put Jamaica in. Things got off to a very bright start with Chadwick Walton, but then it went awry for him again, failing for the fifth consecutive time. But after that, it was the Campbell and Blackwood show, and these two certainly put on a spectacular performance. Excellent partnership. They were prepared to take on the, the bad bowling, whatever they got loose, put it away, dispatch it to the boundary. Positive batting. Partnership of 116 from these two really set the foundation for what we ought to see lit, later on. Black was looking for a century. He got halfway there after some 63 balls. But then Campbell yeah. fell shortly after getting his half century. I just think he gave it away there, but Blackwood and McCarthy started another partnership. This was the shot of the day in my books. Pulling this one for six. 
Kens the Bruise onto the scoreboard. Very good partnership then. McCarthy had to the bat, trying to get over the boundary. Not enough bat on that one. This was the moment that Clapton will cherish, getting to his 100. Then, much like Campbell, who got a half century and then got out, Black, who got 100 and then he got out. 100 from 115 balls, eight fours and two sixes. What an innings it was. And Brandon King came to the party. He brought the DJ, he brought the crowd, he brought everything. He was spectacular. Yeah, he was hitting them high, hard, and handsome. This is the fall of Bonner. Got a start as well. And the fall, too, of the catcher. <laughs> This was the end of Brandon King, a very good delivery there from Jeremiah Louis. Exactly where you want to be at the back end of the innings. So 299 for six, that set tree from Blackwood stands out, his even 100. Fantastic supporting knocks of 61 from Campbell. And then Brandon King batted very attractively and he made 44 before he was bowled by Louis. We also saw McCarthy make 40 odd. The bowling was led by Louis. He continues to be the pick of the bowlers. Both some very good Yorkers in the end. So the target was 300 runs. That was a big one. Only five balls were possible before the rain began to fall and it fell for the rest of the night, I can tell you. The covers came on, lots of water settling on the covers. About an hour and a half, we waited before this happened. Umpire Joel Wilson and Les Reefer Jr. calling the captains down and shaking hands and saying, gentlemen, no more play tonight. Match abandoned, two points each for both sides. So how has this impacted on the tables? Well, Jamaica now moved to 21 points. And then the Marooners on 15. The Pride also have 15. The Hurricanes, they have seven. And the USA, yeah, look, they're at the bottom of the table. They have five. It sets things up, of course, for what should be a very interesting and exciting next match when Barbados Pride play against the CCC Marooners right back here at Kensington Oval on Thursday. We'll definitely have highlights of that, weather permitting, and that match will start at 2. We'll be on air from 1.30. The Super 50 Cup is heating up, and we're looking forward to the grand climax of the prelim preliminaries before we get on to the semifinals. From Bridgetown Barbados, we're still raining. It's bye-bye for now.